Good morning, everyone. Today, I am just up early in my kitchen and I'm getting ready to put something really delicious in the crock pot. I love a great crock pot meal, don't you guys? So I'm gonna be making the cabbage and potato soup. So if you have our number four cookbook, Simply Six, it is on page 12. I love cabbage, I love potatoes, I love onion, and I love sausage. And so that's what I'm gonna be putting together today, and I know it's, you are gonna love it. I know I'm gonna love it, it's so good. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna peel three potatoes, and then I'm gonna cube them. Next, I'm just gonna take one medium-sized onion, I'm gonna peel this, and then I'm gonna chop it up. I'm gonna take my onions and my potatoes and just add them to my crock pot. And then, after that, I'm going to be cutting up the cabbage, and I'm also going to be cutting up the sausage. And what I love about this recipe is you just dump everything in, right? So easy, crock pot recipes are the best. And now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 32 ounce carton of chicken broth and I'm just gonna add this to all of these potatoes and the cabbage and the sausage. And I know it's gonna be so good, you guys. I love coming home. Don't you guys love coming home and dinner is ready? And so what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do, is I am going to put this on high and I'm going to let it cook for about three to four hours. Um, but you can put it on low for about eight hours. That's actually what it says in the recipe. But if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can put it on high. Now also to this, I'm just going to add some pepper. I really love pepper. I love pepper and cabbage, don't you guys? So I'm just going to add some pepper to this. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in this also. Not a whole lot because that chicken broth already has that. And then I'm just gonna put my lid on my crock pot and this will be ready and I'll be back. I've just walked in the door and the house smells amazing. And it just makes me so happy that I put something in the crock pot before I left this morning. And so, all of the cabbage has cooked down and the potatoes are done. And I put this in, I put this on high for six hours. If you need it to cook slower, you can put it on low for about eight hours. I did go ahead and get me out a little bowl so that I could try it and not burn my mouth off. So I'm just gonna, I love cabbage, I love potatoes. Um, I'm gonna get that little bite of sausage if I can. Come on, sausage, okay. Mm. So good. Oh, that is so delicious. That made with some delicious like cornbread or delicious rolls, so, so good. Okay, you guys. Thanks, for much for, thanks so much for joining me today, and I'm just going to remind you that this book is, or this recipe, is in our Volume 4 cookbook. This is on page 12, and it's the cabbage and potato soup. I hope you try this. If you have my cookbook, let me know when you guys make recipes out of it, because take pictures, you can share it. We love to share that with all, with everybody. Okay, and... If you do not have that cookbook and you have been wanting it, we are almost out of it, but go ahead. We feel like we have enough, but just go to missannieshomeandkitchen.com, missannieshomeandkitchen.com, 
and we will be sure and send out that cookbook with mine and Daryl's signature, volume four, Daryl and I have signed. So, all right, everybody, we love you, and I'm gonna remind you to always have hope, and remember that you can be stronger every day, and do hard things, and I'll see you again, bye.